Well, here we are. Welcome in the Sunday Sermon. Uh, every Sunday we read from Mr. Nita Fuller Jr.'s book of Mr. Fully will hurry up and get it out to cover there for our case, you know, because we got it's a sacred book for us. So we got to keep it sacred, you know. And uh, say, so what book you say again? Well, the United Independent Competitory Code System Concept, a textbook workbook for thoughts, speech, or action for reasons of racism, white supremacy. You know, I did it like a follow on Mr. Nelly for the Junior. Then he has revised. Yeah, he revised the book in, in uh, the second, think, think, 2016. Could be 2017. Yeah. Uh, one yeah. of those things. I got the books. I got those editions someplace else too. Yeah. And also, it comes with a word guide. Yeah. That that new edition is is is, is, is a seven volumes, but that came out in 2010. Yeah. Uh, now usually. Uh, as oh, you didn't understand what Master Chloe just said. He's 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 a uh, is he also a speaker, you know, um, and uh, he translates uh, for the uh, the also people, yeah yeah the also you know our folks here in Southern Africa. We're we're reading this in Southern Africa, um, um, but now usually what happens is uh, I I research and pick out something and talk for the day, but today hey I have. Message clearly pick out a thing and we'll read it, you know? You gotta go so, to any page. So on the Kale woman John Gang and Zafun at Wood. John Banzao and Zafun and I'm good and I'm kind of dating Zamia of Muscle as that's John Gang by Zafun at Wood and Tanch. Now there are nine areas of, of human activity. Zim, Zim, areas is as activities as the balls and moons and nine. Yeah, and uh, it's a uh, well, let me let me look at the the, the nine. I, I, sometimes I remember. Sometimes sometimes I don't. Right. Uh, I know if I get if I get started that I when I get to it. Here we go. Uh, there's uh, there's economics, education. Um, education. Entertainment. Labor. Law. Uh, there's uh, politics, which Mr. Neely, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. describes as a, a human. Uh, what does he call that again? Um, uh, he calls it uh, or people relations. Uh, then there's, of course, but not of course, but then there's religion. Is uh, Sex. Is a sin. And the ninth theory is war, counter war. Uh, now, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. broadcasts over the internet every Tuesday um, um, in, in, from the States, from uh, America. Oh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. broadcaster. Now, I won't get my question. What is it? It's one Thursday. Yeah, Tuesday. What is it? In America. What do I get? What are you site? Which site? It's uh, producejustice.com. You lay say busy little tat. You do that to my phone. And that's also the site where you can go and order books from, right? Uh, I don't think they come straight to South Africa now, but they're going to get an Amazon. Cape Town's building an Amazon warehouse, maybe. Who knows in the future? Now, uh, 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 when, when uh, Neil Fuller Jr. does his uh, transmission on Tuesdays, they deal with they deal with uh, actually eight of the of the nine areas. They don't deal with the area of war. Okay, you want me to uh, do entertainment? Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, we will deal with that. We do. We won't. Deal, we don't deal with the area of sex. Now, uh, Mrs. Cody here, he picked out the uh, uh, on page eighty three. Under the area of entertainment. Yeah, because why I, I selected the area of entertainment for the youth, for okay. the young people. 
soli chilele into for abantu abatsha for abantu abatsha kuba sithandile nawe so he's picked uh, the the era the, the he want me to do this this section here or do this section. okay uh, he's going to uh, miss Neely Fuller says um listen to music avoid listening to noise uthi umise Neely Fuller mamela umculo ungazinxulumanisane nomamela incuno and the reasons or the explanations he gives is music is those sounds that help a person to think constructively. And no, noise is those sounds that hinders a person from thinking constructively. Too many non-white people spend too much time and or effort making, listening to, and or responding to noise. Now, now I should note here that when Mr. Newly Fullis Jr. says non-white people, he's talking about well non-white people. He only has three classifications for race, and that would be non-white, white, and white supremacists. Very seldom do they choose to listen to music. Because of the choice of sound to which they listen. Many non-white people are seldom inspired to think constructively. Now, I'm forced to uh, uh, put an editorial comment here from myself here. Yeah. Remember, these are the thoughts and expressions in this book of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. The way you read this book is you take out from it what you relate to or can, and you leave alone what you don't agree with. So I'll leave it hanging right there for that particular point. Let us continue. A person who chooses to listen to non-constructive sound will have non-constructive thoughts. A person who whose mind is dominated by non-constructive thought will speak and or act in non in a non-constructive manner. People who listen to music and hear music will become smarter than people who listen to and hear noise. Again, I'm forced to say that uh, these are the thoughts and expressions of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. and not necessarily the thoughts and expression of uh, uh, me, the brother, and Mr. Cully, the interpreter. 
Ezinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzinzin